Today, we're gonna take two classic tiki cocktails that call for passion fruit syrup and replace it with this Chinola passion fruit liqueur. This question comes up often when making passion fruit cocktails. Can you sub in Chinola in place of a passion fruit syrup? And the answer is yes, but since Chinola is a liqueur and comes in at 21% ABV, and it's not as sweet as any of the commercial passion fruit syrups or even my homemade version, you're better off making some adjustments to account for that. Now, today's entire video is sponsored by Chinola, and a huge thank you to Chinola for not only sponsoring this video, but giving me the opportunity to take this ingredient and really use it to replicate historic recipes as opposed to just coming up with new ones. I know many of you have asked over the last couple of years of been making videos, every time passion fruit syrup comes up, people wanna know, can you sub in Chinola instead? And today, I'm gonna show you how to do that with two of these classic cocktails. Chinola is a passion fruit liqueur that is a state grown and handcrafted in the Dominican Republic. It is made from 100% fresh passion fruit and a neutral cane spirit. It comes in at 21% ABV or 42 proof, there are no artificial colors or flavors, and it tastes amazing. It really is the best passion fruit liqueur, and in my opinion, it's one of the absolute best liqueurs, period. You can pick up a bottle at chinola.com and use the code MAKE10 for $10 off your order. Don't forget, they do have that new Chinola Mango, which we covered earlier this summer. It's also delicious, and thank you to Chinola for sponsoring this episode. So the cocktails we'll be making today are the Saturn and the Hurricane. And I found another use for that slushy calculator I recently used for the Ninja Slushy cocktails. It's also just a relatively decent cocktail calculator for calculating the bricks, that's the sugar percentage, and for the ABV, the alcohol by volume. So I ran those numbers for the original Saturn from Popo Galsini and the original Hurricane from the Ron Rico guide from 1940 to update them to use Chinola. My goal was to match the bricks and the ABV, but also for them to taste just like the originals, which meant I had to do a little bit of testing. So the recipes today are very close matches to those original in ABV and sweetness, but they are a little bit different. When I tested these, you could pick up the subtle differences, but I honestly, for me, I could not tell a meaningful difference between the two cocktails. I had some help with this and a couple other people that did a blind taste test with me, and it was inconclusive. There was no clear winner and it was a mix. And that's actually perfect for what we're going for here because we wanna to try to create something that is almost indistinguishable from the original cocktails. Now the Saturn that I'm gonna to make today, it's actually gonna be on ice, which while Popo didn't call for it to be made that way, that's kind of how it's made most of the time now. And since we're in the heat of the summer, it seemed pretty fitting. For the Saturn, you'll need lemon juice, falernum, orgeat, gin, and chinola. That original Saturn is about 23.5% ABV, that's before dilution, and the one we're making today is very close to that. Since it's on ice, I'm upping pretty much every ingredient, but the big difference here is more falernum and more orgeat, and I did that on purpose because I didn't want to introduce another syrup here, like having more simple syrup, so the orgeat will definitely come through a little more here than in the original. We're gonna shake this one, starting with three quarter ounces of lemon juice, half an ounce of falernum, half an ounce of orgeat, one and three quarter ounces of gin, and one ounce of Chinola passion fruit liqueur. So there you go, the Saturn made with Chinola passion fruit liqueur. All right, let's try the Saturn. The big things I was looking for when making this is, is it missing the brightness from using a you know, fresh passion fruit syrup? Is it missing the acidity? Is it, is, is somehow that brightness not coming through? And that's not the case. Uh, next to Saturn, this tastes just like a Saturn. It, it's got that punch from the lemon juice as well as the passion fruit that's inside the Chinola. It's got the sweetness there. Some of that's coming from the Chinola. A lot of that's coming from this one, from the Falernum, as well as from the Orgeat. Now, I do think the one thing you could do to, to, to mix things up here and maybe 
get it closer to that original Saturn is to be using a gin that is very flavorful because you are using less of it. Now in this recipe, we use more than the traditional or the same as the traditional Saturn, but overall in proportions and the ratios here, there's less gin because the Chinola has some ABV to it. So you might wanna use something that has even more of that, you know, the juniper flavor and more of those botanical notes coming from your gin. But it is without a doubt a Saturn, and especially on a hot summer day, having one served on ice and just increasing those ratios a little bit to where it balances out. This one with the Chinola passion fruit liqueur is delicious. Now let's make a Chinola hurricane, and I'm not gonna make the full version for the Rodrigo guide. That is four ounces of a 90 proof rum. I'll cut that in half to make it a little bit more reasonable. And the original from 1940 is 23.6% ABV. And the Chinola version comes in at 23.88, so it's almost identical. For this one, you'll need lemon juice, lime juice, a two to one rich simple syrup, a gold or lightly aged rum, a dark overproof rum, and Chinola passion fruit liqueur. Now the rums for this one, uh, you kind of need the Worthy Park 109 or something that has a similar ABV and to give that dark rum flavor. Otherwise for the other rum, I'm just using Angostura 5, but another lightly aged Spanish style rum will work here. I'm gonna build this in a drink mixer tin, starting with half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of a two to one rich simple syrup, half an ounce of our gold or lightly aged rum, one ounce of the Worthy Park 109, and one ounce of Chinola passion fruit liqueur. So there you go, the hurricane made with Chinola passion fruit with four. There's three things I'm looking for in a hurricane. I want bold rum flavor, it has that. I want some brightness from the acidity that's coming from the lemon, the lime, and the passion fruit, it has that. And the third thing I want is those three things working together, that brightness, that acidity. I want it to be borderline abrasing acidity it has this intensity to it that tastes just like that original 1940 Ron Rico Hurricane. The rum isn't lost in there, but it has everything you want in what I think and what I've grown to appreciate as a real original Hurricane. It's so simple, it's so classic. It touches upon, you know, the things that I'm looking for between the sweetness, acidity, and the big flavors of the rum. And the Chinola works in there. It doesn't necessarily tell you that it's Chinola. It just tastes like a passion fruit cocktail. So there you go. The Saturn and the Hurricane made with Chinola passion fruit liqueur instead of passion fruit. And I know so many of you have asked over the last couple of years, can I sub in Chinola for a passion fruit syrup? I always knew that answer was yes, just from tasting Chinola, but I didn't know exactly the best way to do that. I think this video hopefully shows you at least two cocktails where you can create historically accurate versions of the Saturn and the Hurricane and subbing in Chinola Patch for Liqueur. What's great about this is it is shelf stable. Uh, they recommend you keep in the refrigerator. I keep mine and my mango in the refrigerator to keep it fresh. It will discolor after you know several months, especially if you leave it out in light, but it's still good. And if you have passion fruit syrup, that's one of those things that goes bad kind of faster than others. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to go to Chinola.com and use the code MAKE10 for $10 off your order. Thanks again to Chinola for sponsoring this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like below. Consider subscribing to this channel. If you want to support this channel more, check out the Patreon page. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.